Hey y'all, it's Fines Girl. I have kind of a different uh, video for you guys today because I have been talking about uh, my Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child boxes for so long that I thought I would share with you um, what I have packed in one. And uh, this is just a little personal note for myself. This will um, come off, but um, <clears throat> it was just to let me know what I was missing. And as I have found those pieces, I have put them in. But I will get a label from Samaritan's Purse and put it on here. And on the label, I will tell if it's boy, girl, and the age that it's fitted, fitted for. Okay, so um, this one, as you can see, it's going to go to a girl, 10 to 14, and it's a dog thing box. Um, I will tell you, the, um, the older boys and girls, the 10 to 14s, are the ones that get the least amount of things. And um, people just don't make boxes for them. I don't know if they think they're harder to do or um, they think they, you know, just don't need it as much as a younger child or I have no idea. Um, but I, in particular, love to pack for the older kids. Um, the five to nines are the ones that get the most stuff. And then the ones that are... Um, younger they um are like second so the 10 to 14s 10 to 14s are um the are last okay so as you can see this box is bulging a bit <laughs> um i may have to kind of uh change up the way i have it packed and since i'm going to unpack it to show you what's in it that's going to mess it up anyway but um what i will do when i'm finished is i'll put some big rubber bands around it and um, put the label on, and this will go to the church, and they will send it on to um, the processing center. And um, another reason why I'm showing it to you now is because um, I had forgotten that our church will pick these up, or actually we have to deliver them, um, in October, early October, I think it is. And so... Um, they won't be available for me to show you much longer. Okay, so if you're not interested in this kind of thing, you can move on and um, wait for my next video that's a Dollar Tree video, um, or you can stick with me and watch me with some of my boxes. Okay, so first of all, I just put these items in, but um, when you open it up, I had these little uh, clings from Valentine's Day, and I just glued some of them on there. Um, I just thought that was cute. And you can put a picture here. You can take, um, you can, a lot of people take old Christmas cards or greeting cards and take the front off, and they will glue that there if it's got a really neat picture. Or um, some people glue their family's picture there, and some people just leave it plain. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> To start with, I got um, these at uh, Amazon, some individually wrapped toothbrushes, and these come with the covers. I really like these, and I just got these uh, this week, so a lot of my boxes are going to have these. Some of them do not have those. I also got combs from Amazon, and these are sturdy, sturdy combs, and I have multicolors. So, I picked that up. Everybody needs a comb and a toothbrush. Everybody needs a bar of soap. I know that's not real attractive looking. I may wrap it in the um, um, washcloth. But the best kind to get is ivory soap. And a lot of people don't like ivory. They don't consider it fancy enough, I guess. But ivory is the only soap that will float. And, you know, a lot of these kids may be bathing in a river. So... You don't want your soap to get away. So there you go. Okay, I put in uh, the little popper dog that I found at Dollar Tree. Put that in there. I thought that was really cute. Um, <clears throat> in this little bag, I put some of the Wishkins dogs that you guys saw me pick up and their little accessories and their cards telling them, uh, what the little dog's names are and what they like and all that kind of stuff. It's always fun to put it in like a little bag so that, um, you know, they can keep up with the pieces easier and not lose the stuff. 
So I thought that was cute. <clears throat> and next I have um, this little bag, which I have um, um, some of the blind bag dogs in here. And I also have this other type of blind bag dog that came with the little dog house. So I put one of those in and a bunch of the other little dogs. So I thought that was really cute. And she can keep them in the bag just like the other. Okay. I found this uh, nice little, um, I guess you call it a coin purse, change purse, keychain, whatever, um, with the cute little dog. I found this at Dollar General, and inside I put her um, a magnetic bookmark, some little hair things for her hair. Whoops, that one tried to jump away. Um, some cute little erasers, and um, I think that's an eraser. Is that one? Yeah, okay. Some little erasers of various types, and I got, I like it like this puzzle eraser. I got that. And I made this bracelet out of some of uh, um, the beads that you get at, um, is it Dollar Tree? I'm pretty sure I got these at Dollar Tree. Yeah. So I made this. So she has a little bracelet and it's always fun for them to have all kinds of little packages and bags and things to open. And um, that's really fun. And the next thing I put in here, um, I put in one of the bottles from uh, Dollar Tree. I thought that this was really cool. I like it. And inside here, <clears throat> inside here, whew, I am trying to stand up and show you guys. Hang on. Let me move this chair back out of my way. A bit. Oh, gosh. Okay. Inside of here, in the cup, I have this cute little car. It looks like a cupcake. I thought that was cute. Put that in there, a little matchbox. I put um, a little dog in there. I just realized that he has different color uh, ears. <laughs> anyway, he's cute. I put a glue stick in. And I put... Oops, what else? I put a chapstick, actually, <laughs> this came from my dentist's office, and I made her a ribbon dancer, which is one of the things that we learned about at um, the conference that I go to here in town. <clears throat> but anyway, and what you can do is use just a shower curtain ring and tie different colored uh, ribbons on it, and, you know, they can dance around and wave it around and do their thing, whatever they want to do with it. So, yeah, I made one. And I decided to give this girl one. If she's 10, she'll still like doing it. <laughs> but anyway, so I have that in there. And let's put this back. It's nice to give them something to drink out of. It's nice to give them silverware sometimes and all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, I gave her a washcloth. Um, I gave her a pair of tie-dye shorts. I gave her a pair of fun uh, little glasses from Dollar Tree. I made her a bead set. And that has the string, and as you can see, all kinds of beads, including ones with letters, so she can make her name or, or whatever else she wants to make. And all I did was take an old pill bottle and washed it and cleaned it up and made her a really big bead set. Um, and I already had the beads and the, um, the string and everything. And of course, I had the bottles. So you don't have to spend a fortune on all of your stuff. Um, because, you know, I made that. I made the ribbon dancers from stuff I already had. Okay. Um, in her pencil case, I see that I had already given her a toothbrush. So, I'll probably remove that one. Um, I put some, uh, stickers in there for her. Just some little stickers. I've got one of the little rulers I got from, um, 
Timo. And in her pencils, I gave her a pen. I gave her a, a bunny top eraser pen. And then I meant pencil. And then I gave her these pencils. So she's got several pencils. Um, <clears throat> I gave her a package of the classic markers. I gave her a duck, a uh, duck, a dog bag, a really big dog bag. You guys saw me with these before, and that's for her to carry all of her school supplies in. Oops. And I gave her a notebook because they all need paper and school supplies. Um, I gave her one of the little embroidery kits with the dog on the skateboard. Comes with the needle, the thread, the instructions, the cloth, everything you need. Um, I see I had already given her a comb. <laughs> um, I also gave her one of these scratch and reveals because this one has a little dog in it. Actually, there's another comb. And I gave her some stickers. And you know, like the ones with the dogs and these other ones. And so, um, that's what's going to go in there. And I took one of those other clings and glued that on there. I think that doggy's cute. And my mom and I are going to uh, type out a letter and um, tell a little bit about ourselves and then put one in each box before we mail them. So, that's um, kind of what you put in them. You kind of put... Um, you know, um, a toothbrush, a comb, soap, washcloth, uh, if you can, something for them to wear, some kind of wow item, and I guess my wow item would be the, um, you know, the little doggy sets and stuff, um, and, uh, of course, school supplies and a bag to carry them in. They can put their toys in here and put the school stuff in the bag if they want to, so... Anyway, I just wanted to see that and um, know what I'm doing with this stuff. And I'm going to have some other videos to show you what I pack for some of my other things. So, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.